Having a world map in your game is not a bad thing. World maps allow the player to explore the world at their own pace. However, that's not to say that you want the player to be able to go from start to finish right away. You're going to need some restrictions. In this video, I'll be going over a very basic world map to kind of get you started on your own world map. So let's take a look at how mine would work. You start off in the village and for some reason you need to go to the cave. Along the way you can stop at this village if you want to buy supplies that you can't buy in your own hometown village. You could skip past the cave and go straight to the port town, but there won't be a boat there. Once defeating some monster or whatever your purpose was at the cave, you report back to your home village and get another mission to go explore a temple. After going back to the port town, there will be a sailor who you can talk to to unlock the ship. After getting the ship, you can either go directly to the next mission or you can go explore other areas such as this beach area over here with a tribal village and a mountain in the middle or this mysterious temple. However, to get to areas like this, you're going to need some sort of flying device, which can be found on the tower. After unlocking the flying device, you're now able to go to this large island over here and explore the rest of the game. You're also able to go to other areas that you were unable to get to originally. It's also important to note that you could also have an event to where the flying device gets broken down or something and you're stuck in that area until you get your ship fixed. There's all kinds of possibilities. 